Hi and welcome back, friends of a thoughtful gaming experience. I'm your host Emmanuel Kahn and we're going to proceed with our let's play Pillars of Eternity, Path of the Damned, the Renegades of Punk. Last time we cleared a lot of this ruined lighthouse, of this haunted lighthouse, of this scary lighthouse. And this time uh, we are going to proceed with our quest, the Wailing Banshee, which is her probably. Lilith and yeah what about her she is a Kian Gla and she wails and screams from the third floor of the lighthouse when I got close enough for a good look I noticed that the spirit seemed to be watching the horizon for something its hands were stained with something dark blood or ink perhaps Maybe I'll find something nearby that can help me. And as you can see, when we press tab, there is nothing nearby. So we have no choice but to move closer to her. Keeping an eye out. To see or to find something that might help. And there we got something. Let's first look here. The logbook. That might be important. The logbook book expels a thick plume of dust. 64 Norton 2672. Foggy. Part 4. 158 days since sighting the Red Dream. 12 Fornauten 2672. Heavy rain. Two fishing boats lost at sea. 164 days since sighting the Red Dream. 1 Taroton 2672 Dark clouds, adherent ships on the horizon. 173 days since sighting the Red Dream. And it seems like maybe she's waiting for the ship called the Red Dream or whatever the Red Dream is. Let's take this thing and let's read. Yeah. Into the final days of the War of Defiance. Nia might mo know more about it. Yes. So let's first go back to Nia. Ask her about that. And then maybe we can come back <coughs> and resolve the problem this restless banshee has. After that, we can plunder some more, or so I hope. As you wish. A logbook. That's what I love about this game. Sometimes it's like an adventure, then in the other times it's like a tactical simulation. And I love both. I love the mix. With just an adventure, I'd be bored after a while, as it's just so ideally, idea if if you know what I mean. It's just about ideas, and if you have combat mixed in, it's also about calculation. But now let's talk about the Wailing Banshee logbook. Good day to you. So, have you figured out what all the fuss is about? Have you heard of the Red Dream, Nia? Who hasn't? That ship's been running raids for decades now. Used to stop in New Yoma, laden with spoils from Rabatai traders. These days, I hear, she spends most of her time prowling the Deadfire Archipelago. Nia points to a ship anchored in the distance. That's her. When she's at port, her captain, an elf named Merwith, takes her shore leave over at the charred barrel in Brackenbury. Believe it or not, she likes her creature comforts. She shakes her head. That's what I'm talking about. When a pirate won't even set foot in the tavern on this side of town, it is high time for a new establishment. So I guess... We'll go back to the charred barrel where we met that pirate captain. 
But there is something else here to do, which we... No, we can do that later. We will come back. So let's go to Brackenbury. Can we go to Brackenbury here? Salty Mast. Can go to First Fires. To Heritage Hill. Let's look at the map. So we came here from back Brackenbury, but we need to go back through the first fires. That can be right. Seems like it is right. All right. Let's go over here. All of you, please. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Yes, I know. I know. Let's look at us running. We're the runners. We're oh, even faster than the scroll rate. Ah. And let's go back to Brackenbury. It's only 12 minutes. Right? Huh. So let's get back to the charred barrel. And it's over here. Run! Don't know how much time we have until the red dream is... Ah! They're quicker than my mouse. The red dream is on the sea again. <laughs> Not a sound. So, there's Thurston. Yeah, maybe we could talk to him. Nah, we'll do that later. I'm very intent on solving this Wailing Banshee thing. The riddle, the puzzle. And there's Merewith. If I wanted company, I'd go to the Salty Mast. Merewith's gold tooth catches the candlelight. What is it this time? Someone at the old lighthouse in Undra's gift was looking for your ship. No one goes near that old place. She leans in her voice, a low hiss. If this is your idea of a setup, think again. Hmm. Is the infamous mayor was too scared to see for his. The last lighthouse keeper watched for your ship every day. It's all in the log. No. A snarl flashes a gold tooth. She turned me out. We were poorer than the fishermen who live there now. And when she learned I'd put food on our table with stolen coin, she told me that if she never saw me again, it'd be the mercy of the gods. Her darkened eyes are filled with rage. I had nowhere else to go, and it was a rough life until I rose to captain. She ignored the Adiran advance to stay behind. I think she was waiting for you. She turns her eyes away. She was always so stubborn. I forget sometimes where I got it. She gulps down the rest of her wine. I'll go. Perhaps it will give both of us some peace. Let's see what happened in the lighthouse. And there was I expecting a tough fight. But no, it was a love story between a pirate 
and a lighthouse keeper. Yeah, what what we will do before we tell to near that the problem is resolved. We'll go up there, look at the banshee, and plunder some. <laughs> because, yeah, we want that money, all of it. We want it. And maybe the, uh, the lighthouse changes after, you know, we tell her. Come on. Sweet. Also that resting bonus, I love it. Also improves second wind by 10, which is very good. So let's go up there again and plunder. And maybe look what Merwith and uh, her lover have to talk about. So let's see. She is here no longer. What, what rests here is Lilith's shawl. Oh, have to have an another look at that. Keep me quiet. Adrang Hadrid. Don't know if this is going to be useful, maybe, someday. I'm still scared. If we open this thing, oh, will there be ghosts coming for us? Yeah. Sure. I'm here. Well, I'll see it done. It's finished. Oh, a jack of wide waters. Oh, very interesting. So, let's first look at Lilith's shawl. Friendly aura plus one stealth. It's used automatically whenever the character is in scouting mode. The higher the character's skill, the closer they can get to enemies before being detected. And plus three perception. That's remarkable, really. Why is this only a blue item? This cloak feels so light that it's easy to forget you're wearing it. The unmistakable scent of the sea breeze, cool and salty wafts from the fabric. Though moth-eaten and ragged around the edges, it keeps the chill at bay. Its faded colors seem to blend in with its surroundings. You found this in the lighthouse of Ondra's gift. The tower had been uninhabited for a century and a half, and its last occupant, the lighthouse keeper, supposedly died. There when the adherents invaded. It was rumored that her spirit haunted the tower still, watching for ships on the horizon. And who'll get that? Of course, Kivava would be a good choice, but... Ah, oh, he wouldn't have the minor cloak of protection then, which is very useful out there at the front. And stealth. We're building our new stealth her but she has a stalker's talk there uh, she would be a candidate as plus five deflection is not that important I think hmm. the stealth bonus is really hmm, good 
All right, I think we have a ring of protection somewhere. She has that ring of protection. Can give that to Kewaba. Now we have something free for Lilith's shawl, as he is the stealther right now still. So, we've got a cloak of protection now. That healing bonus is really useful. Intellect and resolve for our priest is really useful too, but... But, but, but... Oh, I don't know, really. Well, she could use that. The max endurance bonus. Yeah, that's not... That's not too good. <laughs> she could wear that thing. Instead, and give a cloak to her. Uh, yeah, we'll try it out. Give the cloak to her. And we'll give the ring over to Kalbasa. So, I hope <laughs> this will be good for Kavaba, but I think so. He's now got 21 perception, which is a pretty high accuracy rating and a pretty high interrupt rating. So it should help him much with damage. And also, as he has life-draining weapons, it should heal him in combat. As you wish. Is there something else here? Sharp eyes and keen ears. Doesn't seem like it. So let's look at the second thing here. The Jack of Wide Waters. A unique light armor. Not so good against fire or corrode, but good against crush and pierce. Plus two survival, very good. And plus four damage reduction, always nice. Kakuma was a famed Aomawa swashbuckler and the original wearer of this garment. She sailed from her homeland of Rawatai to the infamous Deadfire Archipelago. Maybe Kakuma was the, the Banshee? It fits the story. There she escorted merchant and passenger ships through pirate-infested waters. Among her most frequent clients were the Nazitaki dwarves who ventured to the continents to the north on both personal and tribal sojourns. Her fair dealings, bravery in combat and skill at sea made Kakuma a loved and respected figure in the archipelago among the Nazitaki. And I think I will enchant that if we can. First, let's let's look who will take that. Constitution is always good. Dexterity is always good. Yeah. A light armor. This would be good for our priest. We have a fine leather armor for him. Will also be good for Kailasa. Yeah, Pierce. That's good against uh, ranged weapons. Plus survival. What does she have? She has the Hermit's Hat of Intellect and of Might. Intellect and Might. 
He has intellect and resolve. <laughs> there we go. Intellect and might. That might be good. Or better even. For Gerstine. So let's give her that thing. And Kaiwasa will get that uh, armor here. And we'll enchant the armor. I think we're going for dexterity with her. Yeah. Plus one dexterity. That seems really good. So now she's got 21 dexterity, which is pretty quick. Yes. And we got nice upgrades, got to say. Also, a spirit has been put to rest. That's something that's universally good. So now let's talk to Nia and tell her that everything's okay again. <laughs> after we got everything from up there. <laughs> of course, after that, yeah. Come on, full speed, yeah. Never guess what happened. Naya points to the lighthouse. I was keeping an eye out for you and who strolls down the dock but Mare with herself. You should have seen the stares she got, but she walks right into the lighthouse, never a word to anyone. And just when I'm sure she's met some awful fate in there, she sh strolls right out, still saying nothing to nobody. Now I'm hearing all sorts of rumors about Mare with and the last lighthouse keeper. She shakes her head. I don't know what to believe, but everyone else around here is convinced that the place is safe again. I've even got a construction crew ready to start work. <laughs> yeah, who knows? Who knows what caused this? And we've gained a big amount of copper experience and lost the evacuation notice in the logbook. She takes a deep breath, a big contented smile on her face. And I know I've got you to thank, got you to thank. Here, this is for you. Come back when the renovations are done. I've got big plans for this place. I'm sure, I'm sure. Has it already changed? No, I don't think. Let's look at that. The Wailing Banshee still, so yeah. Huh. And we're close to a level up. Nice, nice, nice. At least with our main character, if not with others. Of course. So, what were, are we going to do now? 